What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video, and welcome to a pretty special video, because I've been challenged by two professional players, Trees, Eric, and Karania, and they have made five challenge maps for me, which they claim are some of the hardest maps of all time, so this should be really interesting to see how I can actually do. Um, they've been specifically made for me, but I'll have the links to play along in the description, so you guys can play along as well, and uh, for free, and uh, yeah, let's get straight into things here. And there's no time limit, so I can chill out and make the most of these really hard rounds. Okay, first one here. Uh, immediately, it looks like Europe, obviously. We have this strange, like, patterned house off into the distance here. But the other thing I'm noticing here is that we have, like, these wooden boards on the uh, walls here, which are very, very commonly found over in, like, Canada and northern US. So the question is... Does this actually feel more like Europe? Are the Europe vibes of the rest of the round more important? Or is the fact that we have this kind of very American looking house on the right here, the actual thing that's gonna win us over? Well, one thing I've noticed that is that we do have 2021 copyright here, which is most common in Russia, but very findable in the US and Canada. Um, but that might lead me towards Russia. And the second thing that leads me that way is the footpath here. I think that also feels kind of Russian. Now, the building in the background also feels kind of Russian, so I think those three things all feel more Russian than American to me, um, but this house is definitely the thing that makes you want to go the wrong continent, I think. That's, that's what I think the logic is here. It also says continental mix. All these challenges have names, which are kind of cryptic, but uh, I'm not really sure what continental would mean in this, uh, in this circumstance, unless it's like a hotel or something. I don't know. But, uh, okay, my thought is Russia here. Of course, Russia. Well, it's good to have the thought of Russia, but where are you going to go? That's the question. Um, I thought maybe like Perm. Like, I know like there's quite a bit of like uh, downtown coverage there. This could also be Eastern Russia. I could even easily see like a Tomsk or a Krasnoyarsk or a Yakutsk or something like that here. Uh, I think I might like Perm or, or Moscow or something like that a little bit better though. I think I'm going to send it in Perm here and find out, shall we? And okay, wow. This was all the way out here. This was actually Gen 3, not Gen 4, like I thought for some reason. Uh, but it ends up being in this tall, small town here in Paratunka. I should have thought, you know, if it's meant to be a really difficult map, it wasn't just going to be an easy west hedge. We had to go for something a bit special. So yeah, that ends up being a really difficult round. I mean, we're in the right country. We got roughly the right latitude, uh, but unfortunately no cigar on this occasion. So let's head through to the next round here. Country streak of one, but that's all we can acclaim. And the next one here, we have a bunch of banana trees. Uh, we have like some kind of interesting little uh, like weed growing on the ground here. And um, we have red dirt. Okay, so some possibilities that I thought of. Sri Lanka seems quite possible to me here. Uh, Ghana seems quite possible to me here. I mean, it'd be a really weird Ghana, but obviously I'm expecting everything to be really weird. So I could see, definitely see that. Um, what also about like, hmm, I was gonna say like Hong Kong or Singapore or something really difficult like that, but surely not. I could, ooh, you know what I just thought of that actually kind of looks right? Um, Uganda. This could be like the most like rural possible Uganda because I think the vegetation really fits and the soil color especially fits here. I think I'm gonna struggle to get away from that thought because just something about it feels quite right to me. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. And also it's like, you don't expect Uganda, but somehow it came to my mind and I think I really like it. So where would it be? Cause most of Ugandan coverage is in the city. Um, and this definitely feels like it would be near Kampala if it is there. So I guess we'll go in this greenish section here, maybe. I feel like there's at least like a 20 or 30% chance I'm right here, just cause it looks right. But, uh, ooh, like in before it's like, maybe like Adamstown out in the Pitcairn Islands or something, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here. Was it actually? Okay, actually South Africa. So, you know, my Ghana thought, my Uganda thought were both on the right track, uh, but we only get 425 points. So both guesses were kind of in the ballpark, but not correct. Let's see what we can get on the next one here. This is super interesting, obviously. Kind of looks like Brazil, kind of looks like Indonesia. Uh, so I guess I would expect it's neither of those. I mean, it kind of looks like Mexico as well. I could see Mexico being like a bit of bait here where it, you really don't think of Mexico at first, but it ends up being correct. I guess those are my main three thoughts here. I think it's a bit flat for Indonesia. Most most times Indonesia probably would have some kind of a hill in, dist in the distance that we could see here. So I'm leaning towards the Americas here. Uh, could it actually be like really flat Philippines as well? Possible. 
But I'm just trying to cover my bases here. I think ultimately I'd probably go for Mexico. I think so. I think I think Mexico, it, it just kind of feels a bit right to me. And if we have brown dirt, then sometimes like Nayarit and Sinaloa can be really good guesses. The problem is we're looking pretty much directly north. And normally in those places you can see some form of mountains. But uh, I, guess, I guess if we were like out here, it could make some sense at least. So I might go for that here, guys. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not all, I'm not too bullish on this one, but, uh, you know, we'll find out here. And, okay, it ends up being Brazil, my second thought, I guess, and Santarém. So, even if I went Brazil, I probably would have gone Mato Grosso. That was my thought of where it would be in Brazil, so we would have dropped a lot of points. But again, not too bad. We, we had somewhat of the right idea. Next one here. Ooh, now this feels familiar. The question is, why do we have wind turbines but thatched roofs? That's surely like a really uncommon combination. I thought of like all the way north in Sri Lanka, maybe. And I also thought of like Denmark for some reason, but I think there's too much litter here for Denmark. And I think the trees in the background, we do see some palm trees. So why not Sri Lanka then? The sun is a bit south here. It looks like we're Northern Hemisphere. That fits for Sri Lanka, uh, if it is indeed correct. Um, could it be like a, maybe like a Bangladeshi island as well? I know this one has coverage or it's one of these ones. I don't know. I, I think I like, I think I like Sri Lanka here. We're looking south and it's flat. So that could make sense if we were like here. Where's like a good beach? I don't know. Cause it's definitely, it's very sandy here. I, I don't know if they would actually have wind turbines, but I feel like I may have seen it and it's worthwhile to just go with your gut and just like hope that you get, you're going to get one of these correct. But I'm going to go for Sri Lanka here. Let's see it. And it was Sri Lanka, let's go, 4.4k there. Ends up being a bit further south than I thought. Thought that almost certainly would have been north. And look at our total score so far is 4,999, which is kind of cool. But okay, let's see, if we get zero, if we get one point here, and we uh, get a kind of a cool total, but well, it's possible, it's kind of a difficult round. So it's generation three, I believe. Wait, is it? It's really hard to tell. When it's misty, it's really hard to tell what camera generation it is. This could be gen four. I guess it's Gen 4, actually. Um, so I guess Bhutan would be out of the picture then. And then we have this big fern-looking tree, which I would associate with, like, New Zealand or, like, Colombia, maybe. Um, dirt color and coverage date would definitely fit for Colombia quite nicely. So I'm thinking of that, but I feel like that would be too easy. Like, I feel like if this is really difficult, then it's, like, in northern Argentina and, like, Salta province up in the mountains or something. But that maybe we're just reverse psychology ourselves here. Um, would you get those ones? Would you get these big ferns there? Maybe. I don't mind that idea, actually. Um, I think I'm going to go for it. Like, if I, if I had to pick, like, if I had to say where this would be if it's bait, then maybe there. Also, the wires are twisted here. So I'm pretty sure they don't twist their wires in Indonesia, so we're not there. I guess that's kind of good. It could have been Indonesia, I suppose. But, yeah, the big ferns, not that common around the world. So, yeah, I'm going to say we're up here. Not too confident on it, but uh, let's say we're up on this mountain road here and hope for the best. And, okay, well, it's just uh, Mexico. Okay, what was my thought, Colombia? Colombia would have been better. Mexico right on the Guatemalan border. Very cool coverage there. And uh, we always got the continent. Uh, did we? Or basically, you always got the Latin American vibe or the, uh, you know. Okay, 5.1. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think I'm happy with that. We got one correct at least and we got the country twice. So it's not too awful. Okay. Tree or treat here. So play on words, but uh, what is this map going to be? Something involving forests, I suppose. So let's find out what exactly we have. Or is it going to be unique looking trees? Okay. First one here. This is familiar, man. Okay, we have like a rusted like play set here. We have a very interesting house with a metal sheet roof, bars on the windows. Where is this? One interesting thought I had was Mongolia here. Could this be like a very strange Mongolia? I don't consider that out of the question. Now I'm looking here, we have like some kind of a succulent here. What are these ones called again? Um, agave. We have like an agave here. Could we be actually in Mexico? I think Mexico makes more sense than, 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 than Mongolia. This could be like all the way downtown CDMX, uh, Ciudad de Mexico. That could make sense here with the pine trees. I think that makes a lot of sense, honestly. All Guatemala is also possible for that matter. Um, and it is generation three. So yeah, Guatemala is pretty possible to me, but we're very high altitude here. I know that much. And I think I like Mexico the best. I think I like Mexico the best. Also 2014 copyright. So I think they don't have 2014 in Guat. So yeah, I'll go for Mexico here. Other options, I don't even know. Like maybe it is something out here. It could be like a Bhutan or a, or a, or a Mongolia or something very strange out there. But no, I think I like Mexico here. Uh, let's give it a go. 
And, okay, well, it's this time chili. Chili I thought of as well, but I think I liked Mexico better. But I think Mexico might have been a bit too obvious. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense that we are there. And, uh, well, again, we got Latin America correct, but very far away and very few points. Okay, next one here. Mmm, concrete road. And we have kind of very warm looking vegetation here. First thoughts, okay. I thought of like, uh, that we're on like the Caspian Sea here, maybe in like Dagestan. And I also thought then my second thought was like, maybe like in really North Philippines with the concrete road. Seems kind of possible. I also thought, I don't think that looks like good for the vegetation. What about Kyrgyzstan though? Could be looking down at the big lake. Like that could make some sense. I've never seen around like this in, in Kyrgyzstan before, but sometimes Kyrgyzstan comes out with surprises. It is possible to make good bait rounds there if we were like, you know, coming down from the hills here. Uh, the, it is to our Northeast. So yeah, that could make sense here. What do I prefer out of those two options? That's the question. I guess I might prefer Kyrgyzstan actually than Russia. It just kind of makes a bit of sense. Although how much sense, I'm not really sure. You know, like it's, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, it's a risky one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. It could be South America too. I definitely think South America is possible. It just feels more like, you know, something Soviet Union, ex-Soviet Union. So I'm gonna go here, let's try it. And okay, what's well, Romania? So, you know, Dagestan wanted a bit of bad idea. Very similar landscape over here. And yeah, that's a difficult one. Well, a lot of these have been outsmarting me, that's for sure. I think the Sri Lanka one, I'd never seen the round before, but I'd seen similar rounds, but this one, and most of the others are very unfamiliar and very difficult. Okay, next one here. This is cookable. Could this be Australia? That's my first thought. I don't think we see like the requisite trees, like the right trees for, for Australia, but it's an interesting thought. So it looks like Mexico here. So I guess we have to assume it's not Mexico. We have to go for our second thought. I mean, the pole looks really Mexican. Everything looks Mexican here. I think this, I would just kind of click middle in Mexico, but I guess not. The sun appears to be... A little bit more, what would that be like? It's north, that would be north. So Southern Hemisphere, theoretically. So maybe like Argentina or South Africa? This could be South Africa. I mean, everything has a wall around it. That fits for South Africa, you know? Is that a cricket ground? Is that actually a cricket ground? Because that would mean South Africa would be very good. Maybe it is. I'm still expecting this to be Mexico. It just looks like Mexico to me. So I kind of want to just go there anyway. South Africa is a very interesting second thought, especially with the sun. I think we can go for Mexico. I, th I just kind of feel that's the most likely here. Arge, still very possible to me. I will go Mexico. If it looks like anything, it looks like maybe Zacatecas bricks here. So uh, let's go in more or less in Zacatecas. And it was Peru. Okay, so Arge, Mexico, both decent thoughts, but it ends up being our keeper there. And it was a golf club, not a cricket. And what was that? What was that? field we didn't really find out but uh yeah regardless i mean no can do 69 points nice okay round number four yeah it's not been going well for us this obviously looks like europe so i guess we have to assume it's not this could be south africa where's the sun oh look at this little thing we see through the tree it almost looks like a portuguese hunting sign surely not i mean it could be portugal i just don't really think so Oh, but this is difficult, man. This really, I mean, this is one you'd like to be able to get. Like, you, it feels like you have a fair amount of clues here with the landscape. You know, like when you're playing a bait map, there's, there's different levels of psychology. It is a lot. Greece, Chile, South Africa, Guatemala, Mexico, or maybe even just Portugal, if that is a Portuguese hunting sign, which I kind of doubt. Maybe it is just some European island, like an Italian island could make sense here. I kind of like that more than anything I thought of so far. But I guess my second thought might be like Chile or... Do we have a chili so far? We did have a chili, so maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe I like an Italian island the best. Okay, um, then I don't know which would look like this, but I guess I'll go for Lipari. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it's difficult. That was gettable, to be fair, that was gettable. Uh, and the latitude is literally spot on. Oh, oh my goodness, that is literally the same latitude. Uh, but who cares, because we are on the wrong continent. Okay. Can we redeem ourselves here? Either I know exactly where this is or I have no idea where this is. But this to me looks like maybe the Japanese islands out here. Uh, uh, Agoshima? No, 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 not Agoshima, not Agoshima. Ogasawara Islands. So yeah, uh, maybe here. Because those ones frequently have generation two camera. This is a Japanese car. The pole is concrete, which makes sense. And then the vegetation is tropical, but a bit weird feeling. Other options, I do think this is Japan. I do think so, but the other options are Okinawa and the Okinawa Islands, or maybe even some of these islands up out here near near Kyushu sometimes look like this. 
but I feel quietly confident here, which is good because we are on a terrible score. So let's see if I'm right. And, okay, yes, 4.6 kilometers away. We finally got one right. So another 5K score. They had us in the first four rounds, I can't lie, but fifth round we got, that's nice. Okay, let me know how you guys did in that one. But uh, next one here is European Roulette. So obviously we're expecting some Europe here, or it's got a question mark, so maybe not. We'll find out soon enough. Is this actually Europe? It doesn't really look like it, does it? We've got a motorbike. Gosh, man, this really, like it's late at night. This really makes your brain toss and turn. Where are we here? This looks like the US almost, or we have a lot of rubbish on the ground, so typically wouldn't find that much in the US normally. Brazil, Mexico, Indonesia, I don't know. This is not easy, man. 2023 copyright. Um. I got nothing here, guys. The, 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 the way these guys are dressed almost smells like Bangladesh or something like that, but surely not Bangladesh. I don't think the landscape looks right for it. But okay, what about like Sri Lanka or something? I mean, it's European roulette. We didn't even mention Europe yet. What about like Bulgaria or Romania or something? But it doesn't really look like it, does it? I don't know. What should we do here, guys? We should make our decision soon. I think indulge the map and go Romania and find out what's going on here. You know what I mean? But the road looks more Bulgarian. Okay, we'll try Bulgaria here. Very much doubt this is gonna be correct, but if it is, it's cool. Let's find out. And yeah, okay, Thailand I wasn't thinking of, to be fair. <laughs> but it's not Europe, okay. Well, that didn't look like Europe at all, so I don't know what's going on. Our next one here, this feels like, this feels like CDMX. This feels like, finally, like a Mexico City, a fairly straightforward one. But, we're not going to guess there necessarily. Let's uh, let's look what we actually have. So we have like a fairly interesting pine tree. We have eucalyptus trees, which is fascinating. We have a few houses here. I mean, could it be like Hawaii? I couldn't rule it out, but I think it looks more like with the rock walls. Probably feels more like Mexico. Um, but CDMX guesses have not worked so far. I think we've guessed there a few times, right? Poles are kind of suspicious, to be honest. I mean, surely this is not Australia. We don't have rock walls like this in, in the right places in Australia, I think. But okay, what about Hawaii? I actually kind of am getting more towards Hawaii than, than Mexico here, because I think the house fits, and I also think that the eucalyptus trees and the pines fit a bit better than what I was thinking. So yeah, let's go Hawaii here, okay. And that's a classic bait map, you know, location or a classic bait map country. Um, let's go in Maui here. I feel like that's a decent guess. And? No. Mexico would have been better. But it ends up being in Panama. Makes sense. Makes sense. Not, just not a country I'm familiar enough with, with the uh, landscape and everything. Ends up being in this town here. And, uh, the rock walls and the trees were very interesting. Eucalyptus trees. I did not know you find those in Panama. So that's good to know. Although they're pretty much found everywhere in Latin America, to be fair. Okay, so I guess the theme is that we're not in Europe, but... I've, I don't understand what the main name of the map, the map is because that did not look like Europe at all. Um, okay, next one here. 2021 copyright. We have very snowy coverage here. I think this is America. I think this is the USA. Where would this be though? The trees are birches, so it should be fairly north. I don't know where you have like this kind of winter wonderland coverage. That's a snow pole. I think this is actually Europe then. Hmm. 2021 copyright. Maybe like Norway would look like this maybe? Uh, with the snow coverage, maybe Sweden actually. Yeah, maybe Sweden would fit best here. With the birches, that could make sense. I don't know, I'm gonna go Sweden, even though Trees Eric is Norwegian. We'll find out, let's let's see, let's see. Okay, well Sweden, nice, good result. Um, obviously getting the majority of our points there this time, so that's good. We still have more rounds to go here. Okay, this one to me is like a slam it down in the Azores. So I guess we're not there. Oh, I could also see this being like a trekker in like Hokkaido. That could make sense to me. It is definitely a weird road. Like it kind of feels like we might be on like a golf course or something. I have seen rounds like this in Hokkaido before. But I don't think it's Azores anymore. I feel like it's not. I'm gonna try Hokkaido because the, the trees between the Azores and Hokkaido are so similar. Like plants here are so common in the Azores. It really does kind of hurt not to go there. I think it might be cooking. It might be cooking, but it might not be. And it's European roulette. And we've discovered that most of the rounds weren't in Europe. Oh my gosh, South Africa is so crazy there. Is this a golf course though? Not even, man. This is a guest farm. That's a crazy round, bro. Like, uh, it's theoretically gettable as like your fifth choice maybe, but not as your first, I feel. So, I mean, at least we didn't go in uh, in the Azores, but still, it's one point only there. Pretty dismal score. And so the last one here, we have, ooh, 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 this is familiar though. Wasn't there a round like this 
that I put in one of my bait maps that was in Ukraine. I feel like I've seen a similar run in Ukraine before. Um, but the vegetation's certainly strange. Like the trees in the background don't quite feel European, but the road really does. But then again, look at these fences. They're very like South American. So what would that place us in here? Wooden fences, huh? Would you really see that in, in, in Ukraine? It, it feels kind of unlikely to me, especially the way they're so rickety. Okay, Colombia. Colombia works with the fences very nicely, uh, but it doesn't really look like Colombia apart from the fences. That's the problem. It still could be though. What about the Ukraine idea? It just kind of feels like that apart from the fences. 50-50, 50-50 moment here. I'm gonna try Ukraine. We had only one Europe so far. I think there might be two in this map. That's my logic, as well as the fences. The fences scream Colombia, so we can't go Colombia. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna go in Mikolaev. Yeah, we're gonna go in Mikolaev. Okay, let's try that. And it was Mexico. Okay, man, the one time I don't guess Mexico, I immediately thought of it, but I was like, no, I just, I keep on wanting to guess Mexico. It's not gonna be Mexico. And it makes sense, to be honest. That definitely would be the kind of region I would think of if it was Mexico, which it was. Okay, 3.9K there. I mean, the Thailand was a bit of a throw, although the rest of the guesses I'm fine with. Okay. So second last seed of the video here, this one's called Zigzag's Big Blunders, which I was really looking forward to playing. Presumably these are rounds which I failed in the past. So let's see if I'll fail them again. And so first one here. Oh, I, yeah, this is familiar. I think that the round was between Colombia and Mexico. I don't know if we can find the original round of when I played this. To me, the rock wall really screams Yucatan. And so does the Coca-Cola advertisement. So maybe it's just Colombia. Maybe this is North Colombia. Or maybe this is like Sri Lanka. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I would have guessed Yucatan here because that's kind of like what makes sense. Could it even, I mean, they have like political posters on the pole there. Philippines or like Peru. Obviously this can't be Peru, but ah, man. Oh, I don't like this. Of course I failed it last time because I have no idea looking at it for a second time what it is. Yeah, let's try Philippines here. I don't think I would have guessed that the first time. And to be honest, I wouldn't guess if it wasn't on this map. Uh, okay, Kenya. This rings a bell. This map, this, this round rings a bell. Crazy round, to be honest. And, uh, well, I guess I probably guessed closer than I did last time, but only by virtual. <laughs> probably not even, to be honest. Okay, that was a bad start. Next one here. Ooh, familiar, familiar, familiar. Guys, it's difficult. I don't know where this is. Mexico comes to mind, actually. This vegetation, I feel like, is quite common in, like, certain places in Mexico. Bread, bread. The longer I think about these, nothing really happens. Like it's it's rather than I actually think of it if I don't know it initially. So could it be Kenya again? It could be. That would be cruel. Could it be Rwanda came to mind here? Yeah. I don't know, Peru. Let's go where I would say in Mexico, which would be like here. Who knows what I guessed last time, guys? If any of you guys remember, let me know. Okay, what's Mexico? Nice. Ends up being oh, on the same road in here. This was like the last one was on this road, I think. So cheeky, but we got the country there. I'm happy with that. The next one here. Ooh, surely this is the US, right? Oh, we have yellow road lines theoretically in the middle here. What would I have gone? Like, surely this is an easy US. Oh my gosh, the uh, reverse psychology is crazy. It could be California. I think actually that might be what it is. I went Texas and it was California. Cause uh, as well, while this pavement is very Texan, the landscape and stuff feel a bit wrong. So I'm gonna say this is like Northern Cali, if I remember correctly, which I really have very limited memory here, but maybe, let's see. Oh no, how, how is that there, bro? That's Jindabyne, bro. It's a place we deal with at work. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy round. This is a truly an awesome round. I would love to use that for a map, but clearly, I mean, it's gonna be known now. Uh, where did I guess last time? Probably Texas. And this time I go, go um, Cali. But I'm never going Australia there. I'm just not. So that's a crazy one. Just moving on. Uh, what do we have here? Double yellows or is this? Yeah, this one I feel like is North Thailand. I don't know where I went last time or maybe even South Thailand with this mountain. But I don't know where I went last time, but I'm pretty sure this is Thailand. Help me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm going to go here. Uh, oh. That's truly bad. That's like the first time where I've been like, what the hell? <sighs> I was looking at this coverage as well, like these these mountains that all these hills that exist in eastern uh, or western Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, bro, that's a crazy one, and that's a repeat, guys. This is what makes that especially bad. I've seen that before, and I made the same mistake. Yeah, that one actually hurt, bro. Nothing, nothing hurt in this video until then. Oh my gosh, and the last one here, concrete road. We have kind of European-looking trees here, though. 
I feel like I went somewhere that wasn't Europe and this is actually Europe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this this little plant here feels very European. Concrete Road, huh? Maybe like Romania. I think Romania makes enough sense. It could even be like as far as north as... Romania's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Romania here. Please don't be... Is this Gen 3 or Gen 4? Again, like when it's hazy, it's really hard to tell. Could this be Korea, is my thought. Is, is it actually Gen 3 or Gen 4? I think it might be Gen 3. I mean, yeah, it's it's when the sun, when when it's like overcast that it's really hard to tell. Maybe it's Korea, but then again, it doesn't also look super European either. Oh no! Do you guys not know what's about to happen? Twenty twenty three. No, 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 no. Twenty twenty three. I'm going there. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> it was actually northern Spain. That's fine with me. Actually, Andorra. No. Yeah, northern Spain. That's fine. At least we didn't go Korea, and we get four thousand two hundred and sixty five there with the correct Mexico. So I think every single seed we we did, we did at least once, right? So, I mean, like, let's see, we got 5K, 5K, 3K, 4K, and now we have cookable level 100. So theoretically of the five, this should be the easiest seed or one at least where I could get a good score. Let's see if that's the case or not. First round. And we have what oh no cookable 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 is this like a skiing slope in like finland or something like that i mean they must have skiing in finland or something uh, somewhere i think like the road lines kind of feel finnish like signage also kind of feels finnish and the trees definitely do and the coverage to boot i feel like this is some country where skiing is not normal because these would be kind of lackluster hills to be making it on in like norway or something right that's my thought. Anyway, I think I like it. I think that's a good guess. So where would they actually have skiing in Finland though? Does Olu have anything? Olu appears to be completely flat. Okay, what about this town here? Like where, how far north could it realistically be? What about like here? Skiing? No skiing there. What about that? Holiday place, yeah. I mean, I feel like this is kind of cooking. What about, ooh, don't tell me. I mean this, okay, that's to our Southwest. That's kind of good, bro. Oh my gosh, if I 5K this, this is gonna be like my greatest ever round. Okay, let's let's really think here. If it's cookable, oh my gosh, I might be getting excited for nothing. There's probably like five like this, but, but screw it. We gotta we got run with the narrative that this is correct, right? Okay, so what about, so we're going Southwesterly here. What do we have? We have the hotel, like yeah. Could be, it's, it's more of a straight road here, ending in a car park. We need the uh, actual ski here, maybe. We actually, we would see the mountain more closely though. I don't see anywhere that naturally fits here, to be fair. But I still think it's, I still think it's possible. And I'm kind of excited of the fact that it is possible here. So those would be to our south, yeah. Okay, this is my guess here, guys. If this is correct, which it actually could be, which makes me really excited, um, then it's like my greatest ever guess, but I'm assuming it's not. Well, let's find out. Okay, not too bad though. Karani has played this challenge as well, and it ends up being on this one instead. I mean, that's still a pretty good guess. It's still a pretty good guess. But I was, I mean, the mountain angle was the same, or like same-ish, so yeah. Okay, let's we'll see if we can beat Karani as well. Uh, next one here, uh, it's like Uruguay or something. That's immediately what came to mind here. It's kind of overcast-ish. Uh, the coast is to our southeast here. Yeah, that could certainly fit for where I was thinking. Um, yeah, it nearly just feels like Uruguay to me. I, I think when you get a Uruguay vibe, you trust a Uruguay vibe. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go southeasterly here. Punta del Este, let's go in, let's go in La Paloma. On the beach here, right there. Uh, well, Karani went to Antarctica, he probably was, uh, not actually many, meaning to finish the seed and it was back here again. It was a little tough that one. Not really, not really uh, too happy with my guess. These things happen. Cookable, but no cigar. Next one here, what do we got? We are driving right. We have short yellow dashes. Okay, I think it's Brazil actually. Northeast Brazil somewhere. We have a very weird pole. This does not look particularly Brazilian, but this electricity kind of, kind of does. Now, we have a weird car. I know there are lots of weird cars on the Brazilian island. So could we be there? I think the place is a bit too small, all in all. Like, I think we see a bit too much landscape going on. We have like two layers of mountains, which I think is not possible if we're there. And I, there are no more, there are no more. Yeah, that's the only place. So yeah, I don't think so. I do think it is Brazil. Okay, what about this? We have the uh, kind of black insulators here, which are really common in Pernambuco. And we see mountains there to our east or slightly southeast. Uh, so let's have a little scan of Pernambuco. It can be kind of difficult to scan because the uh, constantly turns yellow and green. Where would we be like here maybe? Maybe this town. I'm gonna go for that. I think, uh, I think that's most likely. 
I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here, but I do think Brazil, and I do hope that I'm not wrong. I really do. Wait, 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 wait. We have a yellow taxi there, which really looks like a Colombian taxi. And that would make sense of the pole top being a bit weird. Still, the landscape is super odd, but I think that's a Colombian taxi or maybe a Ecuadorian taxi, maybe Ecuador. Hmm. Realistically speaking, which is more likely with the pole? I don't know. Maybe this is Ecuador. No, I think it's a Colombian taxi though. I think it's a Colombian taxi. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna change it up here. Last second, Tunya is quite dry. Tunya also has the right kind of angle here. I think I'll go downtown Tunya. Big Tunya. Will it be right? Last minute change there. Surely, surely that's not findable. I don't think that's the place. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go here. Compra. It, could it be these mountains? I don't think so. I'm gonna go Tunya. Let's see it. Yes, baby. We 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 pulled a good one there. Ends up being oh. Uh, on the border, we were actually looking into uh, oh, into Venezuela there. Kind of cool. Uh, but okay, next one here. Okay. So we have Generation 2. We have really interesting reflectors on the road here. Not common in Europe, right? Could this be Korea? Like, that would make more sense of everything here. The trees would fit. The road lines would be interesting, but I think they would fit. And then, oh, look at this rockiness here. That also fits. It kind of looks like Jeju with the like, kind of like volcanic rock, but I think this is mainland Korea. I'm pretty confident on this one, actually. Cookable level 100. I think so. This is a very cool Korea location, by the way. Uh, so generation two, the problem is it doesn't exist too much in the interior of the country. It's normally like around Busan and around Seoul. So I guess this would have to be just like a crazy Seoul. Am I, am I completely off base here? Could it be Chile? Chile would be the other option here, I think. They have sometimes random gen two and the reflectors kind of look right for chili but i think everything else like the trees and the vegetation feel better for korea so i'm gonna go outside of seoul here oh taiwan yeah makes sense i mean at least we got the asia vibe that's a very difficult taiwan like it really looked more like korea because we're up in the mountains and it wasn't very tropical feeling at all but if i was actually being perfectly logical like korea doesn't really have that much rural gen 2 Whereas Taiwan has a lot of rural gen too, so I could have maybe thought of it if I thought for longer. Okay, and the last one here of the video. Very interesting poles here painted white at the bottom. We have like a European pavement here, very European looking. We have, what is going on here? Like it could be Argentina with the white painted bottoms with, we're definitely driving right hand side of the road because these signs are set up for right hand drive. There's enough plausible deniability with the pavement. Like it could certainly be RG. So where's the sun? Sun appears to be more so to the south, I would say. Or maybe a little bit, I don't know, it's actually, might, might actually just be east, east-ish. Hmm. Okay, let's think further then. The curbs kind of look Turkish to me. Oh, it's a, I think it's a Turkish pole, not an Argentinian pole actually. Yeah, I think this is Turkey. And the circular signs would make more sense for Turkey and the pavement definitely makes more sense for Turkey. Okay, okay. But then where? Like, Turkey's a big country and I have no idea where this would be. Like, Gaziantep, maybe? That could make some sense to me. Maybe Konya? I don't know, like, there's still so many options. Maybe I go Konya, because it is very flat, and I'm not really sure what Konya should really look like, to be honest. It's just some, like, industrial zones are always hard to guess. But, yeah, I think, well, actually, Jalotris, you know, he said more of the industry happens in the west of Turkey. So I, I think I think I would go Konya here, maybe even hedging it further. I might even go, uh, in, um... Polati. Yeah, let's go in Polati here and hope for the best. Okay, nice. It was Western Turkey. It was near Bursa. And we pull a nice score of 13,500 there. The Romania, that was the one I spent the least time on and it was, uh, yeah, not the best. But uh, it was a cookable seed. We did play pretty nicely there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you to Trezeric and Karania for making the maps. And to be honest, they were consistently very difficult, so I think the title was not clickbait on this occasion. They were very difficult indeed. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, guys, and goodbye.